welcome to my channel. Just got out of the shower, washed my hair obviously, and I wanted to do a vlog, like a Sunday get ready with me. We usually wake up around seven, eight o'clock. Today was a little later. Eighter. Today was a little later. I hit the snooze because we were just so tired. But just kind of do like a Sunday morning routine, get ready with me. Made my coffee already. My son is gonna make some coffee for my husband. He loves doing that. It's like the sweetest thing ever. Hi, Cheech. You're so beautiful. Best friends forever. Kids really want some. Wait, can we hash each have browns. two? Can we each have two? Do so we have to put some six. hash browns in the oven? Put six on. What if I want one? Oh, uh, then you'll have to put seven. What if I want two? Three. I'll do extras just in case. When the hash browns get closer to being done, I'll make you guys some smoothies, but I just want to get started on my hair. Hey, Cheech. You should just let him outside. He keeps like standing by the door begging to go outside. Hey, buddy. Look at him. He is out. I'm actually going to do my skincare first because my skin, fresh out of the shower, it dries up really fast. And I didn't put anything on, so while it's still nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare and then apply a hair serum that I started, a new one that I started trying from Way Hair Care. My goal on Sundays is to, first of all, breakfast for the kids, make sure that they're not hungry, and then get them dressed. As long as they're dressed and ready, they can play, do whatever, and then I slowly take my time getting dressed and all that fun stuff, doing my makeup, my hair, whatever. Um, that's like that's like the goal for Sundays, just to get everybody out of the house, make sure everybody's clothes are on, head, happy, all that good stuff. And our service is at 11, so it's nice because we kind of get to have more of like a slower Sunday morning where it doesn't feel like rushed. I'm gonna do my hair right now, and for hair, I have been using all whey products, literally. I even bought their scalp spray uh, serum that you guys saw, testing it out. I personally love scalp serums. I think they're such a great thing to have in your hair care routine because they sit on the scalp. They have so many benefits, all that good stuff, but I have the bundle for fine hair i have the shampoo and the conditioner and then i bought the detox shampoo which i'll use about once a week and i really like the detox shampoo you know my hair doesn't feel stripped or dry and i feel like it does its job it smells nice i don't know i've just been really liking way hair care products and then i have some post shower way hair care products as well i have the hair oil the volume spray which i absolutely love i'm half more than halfway through it this is great for fine thin hair I have extensions right now, but when I didn't, it really helped to give like a boost of volume. It almost like expands the hair shaft and makes it appear fuller without making your hair feel crunchy, dried out. Um, I just think it's such, they did such a good job with this product right here. What are they arguing about now? But I feel like they did such a good job with this product right here. So out of all the whey products for my fine thin hair, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's just really, <coughs> helps give your hair like that fullness. And then I have the leave-in conditioner here, which I use on my extensions because hair extensions, I'm like, even though it's real hair, this one, the quality of this one, this is the same one from Amazon. It's nice, it's not the best I've ever tried, but it can, you know, get pretty dry. I just like to keep it nice and moisturized. Do you keep hair moisturized? Hydrated, something like that. Hydrated, so it's that like dry. So let me kind of brush the hair out I'm using this really wide tooth comb from Stassi Accessories. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them probably at Dollar Tree. I think I've seen them at Dollar Tree. And they're great to kind of comb through the hair when it's damp. That way you're not really snagging it or anything. You don't have to tug on it. So this is really great to have. Let me get my coffee out of the way because I'm going to be spraying a lot of things. But I'm going to go ahead and apply the leave-in conditioner to the ends of my hair. And if you do overdo it, it can feel 
pretty greasy, so I'll just do like a few spritz on one side, a few on the other. And it's an interesting product because it's a spray, like a mist, but it's like a lotion, so it's very interesting. I do feel like it truly helps to keep the extensions, you know, looking pretty and feeling pretty soft and not feeling too dried out. So this I use every single time post shower. And then also I'll go in with the hair oil, but this I just concentrate on the ends. And then when I'm done blow drying my hair, if I see that my hair still needs a little bit of something on the ends, I'll grab some more of that hair oil and then kind of put it wherever I need it. And you want to be careful not to apply too much because like right here in the front, I have some dry strands. So I kind of oil them up a bit. And then especially, especially on the ends here. And then last but not least, I'll use the volume spray. And it's a very fine mist that is pr pretty perfumey. And I just spray it everywhere. Kind of lift the hair in the back, mostly on the crown, crown area. All right, and to me, this is such a staple in my hair care routine for fine thin hair. So if you've been looking for something to give your hair a little bit of boost and volume, try this out before, while your hair is like still damp, give it a try. I think it is such a great product. And now for the fun part is blow drying the hair. Blow drying the hair with extensions takes forever. Usually I'll use the round brush from Revlon, the newer one, the 2.0, but I don't know, this one takes forever just because the heat distribution or something about this. It takes such a long time, so I'm gonna go in with my hair dryer. This one's from Musu, and I've mentioned it before. I think I did like a full blown review, and I still use it, still like it. It works really great. This does a great job at like really drying it in a small amount of time, so you're not really using too much heat for too long of a time frame. be damp anywhere because then it doesn't curl well but do you see how the volume spray it just adds so just to my natural hair adds such a great boost of fullness to my limp fine thin hair absolutely love that product now I'm just gonna go through and add a little bit more hair oil in spots where I feel like the hair is looking a little bit dry so I'll just do one pump rub it into my palms I'll start off on the extensions, the ends of the extensions, and then kind of gently through my natural hair. So just a little, just let it look nice and, you know, sleek. Is that a bug? Ew. And then this leave-in conditioner does have thermal protection in it, so that's why I'm not using a, like a heat protectant. Now I'm going to plug in the hair curler, and I purchased this via the Amazon Beauty Program, I mentioned this in a vlog, the T3 curling wand with interchangeable barrels. You just uh, twist, twist to this right here and the barrels pop out and you can change them for two different sizes. This is the largest one and I got it mainly for this barrel size right here because I like a really loose curl. And then it has, I think a one inch maybe and then half an inch, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but this is, I believe, a one and a half inch barrel, and I really like it. I think the, whatever the coating is, whatever they made it out of, the technology, it like glides through the hair like butter. It doesn't snag the hair. It's just, it works really well. It is expensive, but you're getting kind of like three curling irons in one, so you're saving a lot of space as well. So I love the concept, and this is just what I've been using to create like really loose curls. So I'm gonna let that heat up first for a second. All right, it's pretty heated up. So to curl my hair, I, I take large sections of hair. I start in the front, I curl away from the face, and then at the halfway point, I curl away from the face as well. So I'm kind of curling away from the face all the way to the halfway point here, and I just take large sections, and I mainly concentrate the curls from like here down. That way they're super loose. I'll show you guys. I'll clamp it, twist it, Keep twisting it. I do loosen the clamp as I pull it through so, so that it's not tight. The first two I like to make, take them up a little bit higher because they're framing the face, but the rest of the curls, I keep them pretty low and just let it go, let it sit there. And this one, I'll take another section of hair, 
I'll keep it straight. I'll start about right here. My hair still feels a little bit damp, so I'm not sure if it's gonna curl as well as I want it to. But just kinda, and I do leave out the ends as well for more of that looser curl look. And I'll let it go. Yeah, this piece is like a little damp, so it's not really curling well. So let's try that again. I literally want just like barely there curls today. There we go, that's better. You can hold the curls until they cool down if you want them to be a little bit more prominent. So I need to do the rest of the hair. Because my hair is a little damp, like a little tiny bit damp, I thought it was dry, but once I started curling it, like I can feel. So the curls are even looser, more loose, which I actually like, I don't mind. I actually like this really loose curl look, but I'm gonna go ahead and recurl some sections because they're just a little too straight for my liking. There you have it, folks. All right, now on to the makeup. something light um, what are they doing in the basement I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum Foundation just a little bit I gotta get my hair out of the way I did a review on this with the Giorgio Armani and I think they're both great it depend just depends on what you're looking for but this is great for like a little bit of coverage a healthy finish type look just like a very natural healthy complexion finish and I'm gonna go in with the boing cakeless concealer this one can be a little bit drying for my particular skin type but I tried it when it visited my sister and I loved the finish so much and not the finish I loved how it like really brightened everything up so I decided to buy one for myself and I have it in shade one and this is from benefit I got it at Ulta but it like really I particularly got it in shade one because it really has that brightening effect sometimes for some people this might be a bit too much but I feel like a bright under eye kind of like really makes you look pretty youthful and awake and all that good stuff it's gonna balance out in the end trust the process you guys it's gonna balance out it just looks a little bit extreme when I first apply it I'm actually gonna go in over with this foundation like a little bit on the cheeks I feel like it, the concealer kind of overpowered it a bit. All right, that's a lot better. It just kind of helped to blend it a little bit better, but this is the finish of the concealer. I don't set it, because then otherwise it would just be way too dry. Pretty full coverage, in my opinion. Like, from what, I, from what I'm used to, for me, this is definitely more full coverage and very brightening. Like I said, I feel like a bright under eye just makes you look awake, youthful, all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna put some bronzer on my cheeks all around just dab it here dab it there and then i did tint my eyebrows yesterday so they're nice and fresh i used the gold Freud tint kit from amazon and i used the sh the one that's light brown and then the last but not least i'm going to take a highlighter and just put at least some the bridge of the nose over here in our corner make it the eyes pop a bit, look more awake. A little bit, drag it a little bit into the lid space. And then a little bit here, a little bit here, and that's literally it. Just boom, boom, bam, done. I grabbed some shoes, trying to figure out what shoes to wear. I have these from, um, oh my gosh, it's like a little boutique online. I saw an Instagram ad, I think it was, I did a review, like a little haul. By the way, these pants are from Misguided. This top is from Amazon. I absolutely love it. And these shoes are, they're like this, um, this is the material, but gosh, I can't remember the name. It was like shop, let me check on my phone. These are from a shop priceless. And I'm not sure if they still have them because I got them last year, but I don't know if I want to wear this because I'm going to be wearing this orange 
linen top. I don't know if this is like a little bit too casual. And then I have this orange bag that I found on Amazon. It's not the same color orange, but yeah, I feel like these shoes are no. I think I'm gonna grab these instead. And these I got from Shein. I don't know how I feel about this outfit now that I have it on. There. Let me try one more shoe that I have. We have two more options. I have these from Forever 21 I got a while back. And then these from H&M. They're like a brown color. They look black, but they're actually brown. But they're like a super low kitten heel. There's a dog outside chasing Pepper. Oh, it's probably the neighbor's dog. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. Yeah, so let me go put on some jewelry, put my stuff in the bag. Why is there a dog chasing Pepper? Where are the kids? 